Hi, I'm Dr. G, clinical psychologist with specialty in couples and sex therapy. My friends at Celebrating Act 2 have asked me to talk about relationship issues for people over 50. Today, I'll be talking about the people, uh, this topic, I'll be talking about the following topic. The people I'm dating only want companionship, but I want a physical relationship. Let me repeat that. The people I'm dating only want companionship, but I want a physical relationship. So now here I would say really at the core issue is almost a um, you know, mismatch in terms of these kind of groups of people. So the question I would have for a person who is wondering how come this, this person that I'm dating doesn't want more than a, uh, just companionship, how, how come they don't want to get physically involved uh, you may be talking to the wrong person uh, unless you have asked that question. So here, what, what this signals for me is the um, you know, question that I have uh, for the person wondering about this is, have you, uh, have you had an honest conversation about the nature of your relationship? Or are you kind of perhaps lost in your own assumptions and there's not much of talking, conversation, communication going on between what you want, what, what other people want. You know, at times we get that. People who come into a relationship, they're almost like shy about expressing their needs and, and wants and what they're looking for. So uh, they may, it's almost like a, a passive uh, type of a communication that, that can be detected here or even a non-communicative uh, type of an approach toward a relationship and some people do that you know when they they make a lot of assumptions they have all kinds of inner thoughts about the relationship but they don't talk about it they don't bring it up they, they don't discuss it they don't ask questions so uh, the assumption really here is there's like an automatic match by almost like magical uh, match you know, by chance um, you talk to someone you kind of assess them uh, based on certain things. And nowadays, there's so many different ways of assessing people, right? You may have looked at their profile. You may look at, I don't know, you may have met them. You may, you may have met them in a social gathering and, again, kind of um, uh, uh, looked at them from, you know, almost like remotely or from a distance and uh, made up your mind about their character. And then when there is an opportunity of a little bit of an interaction, you may actually be Mm, jumping the gun. You may actually be, you know, too eager to get involved with them without having really gotten to know them. And that's the key. You know, how do we get to know a person? If someone um, uh, perhaps is lacking in those skills, in, in assessing, uh, getting to know, inquiring about another person's life, preferences, psyche, likes, dislikes, everything, then, then that's what we need to focus on, to, to uh, really increase your skills in, in uh, having, you know, establishing a certain rapport, connection, uh, opening up with a small talk, kind of taking that small talk further in um, uh, gaining the trust of, of the other person and getting them to really actually opening up uh, about, them, about themselves, about who they are. Uh, and uh, that requires certainly yourself to be able to do all those things. Otherwise, otherwise people will not open up. So uh, the key here is really twofold. One is the mindset that the person has about relationships. How do relationships uh, unfold? Uh, is it automatic, by chance? Can we just look, take a look at the person and assume things about them and then just expect, uh, let's say, uh, a physical relationship? immediately or on a very quick schedule uh, or do we do should we take our time and uh, engage in certain communication skills uh, and almost like interviewing skills you know getting to know your partner to find out who they are what their likes and dislikes are because then you can then you have a much more realistic picture and profile of them in terms of their needs and desires, whether or not they want just companionship and or physical um, contact. And uh, so rather than working from, from your set of assumptions, which most of the time are 
are mistaken and erroneous, I would suggest that the idea here needs to be uh, a, a much more honest talk with a person to and finding out um, what the parameters are around their need for physical contact beyond companionship and whether or not you are a good match for that. In most cases, I would say um, uh, people, people are very um, flexible in, in general. There are few cases I have seen that people are actually kind of rigid in, their, in terms of their preferences for companionship and physical contact. In general, they are flexible. The idea here is that the, uh, what is lost usually is the opportunity of matching those uh, preferences, likes and dislikes between two individuals. If there is enough rapport, honesty, communication, um, you know, good talk between them, people can figure these things out. So lastly, what I would add is uh, uh, certainly um, reading a person's, I would say, nonverbal language comes very handy in this case. You know, when, uh, if you are um, eager to have a physical, more or less physical relationship, physical contact with someone, uh, their, their body usually sends the right signal uh, in terms of whether or not they would be actually a, a good candidate. You know, uh, to give you some examples, uh, when, let's say you're engaging with someone in a conversation at a, I don't know, cocktail party or networking, etc. Pay attention to their, to their body language. If they're looking at you, if they're turning toward you, if they are showing interest in, you know, by means of their body, again, just posture, direction, pose, attention, eye contact, um, and facial expression in terms of smiling and being excited, um, uh, you know, kind of reflecting on what you're saying, showing interest, all those are great clues that there is something, there is like an essential component of interest there upon which you can then build a physical relationship. But if, if the body is already telling you that this person is really not showing that much of interest, you know, the body speaks volumes. It is literally telling you, don't waste your time with me. You know, no matter how good you are, how fantastic you are, how great you are, and, or, or you may be, I'm not that interested to, you know, in finding out about you. Uh, so that by itself is, a, I would say, a lifesaver, uh, because it can uh, tell you right off the bat whether or not you should spend your time, waste your time on spending energy and investing in, you know, time in, in that inquiry and discovery about the other person's preferences, likes and dislikes. Start from there and have a great conversation and see where it leads you. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. Thank you.